Hey, what's going on future pilots? This is Nick again from Part-Time Pilot, continuing this video series on magnetic compass and magnetic compass errors and how we deal with those as pilots. In the first video, I covered variation. In this video, we're gonna talk about deviation. So magnetic deviation is electromagnetic interference caused from electrical systems and emitters, which are certain metals and electrical systems in and around your aircraft. The magnetic fields within the aircraft created by these electrical systems and metals distort the lines of magnetic force being read by the compass. Even us humans have a, an electromagnetic field around us that can have a sm very small but still measurable effect on compass. So everything in there, the metals, the, the electronics, they kind of all add up to have a little bit of an air in your compass. Fortunately, most aircraft come with a deviation cheat sheet that tells you how to read and correct for deviation error. The deviation card below, so this is the one you're going to find, the example you'll find on the FAA written exam, says that for a given heading, these first, the first and third row where it says four right here. So the first and third rows, the, those four rows, so for those headings, steer for a slightly different heading these ones labeled steer the second and fourth rows as read by your compass. For example, if you want to fly a heading of 060, so you look at 4060 on your magnetic compass, you would steer for 056. So the deviation at this reading is about four degrees. So there's about a four degrees there when you want to get fly to 060. So if you're in your cockpit, you're flying, and you're using your compass to navigate, you want to turn to 060, you actually check the compass, the deviation compass card, which is going to be usually just below, placarded just below your magnetic compass, and you're going to look, so you're going to look for four, for the one you want to go to, 060, and you're going to look for what you want to steer for, 056, and then you'll actually target 056 on your compass, and that'll be the same as if you're flying 060 because of that four degree air. Okay, so that was a quick one on deviation. Hope you guys understood it. It's a quick and easy one in terms of these compass errors. But if you didn't and you have any questions, please comment below.